Happy Monday, everybody. We're back to it, scammer time. Instagram scammer this time. So this has been posted now for a couple days. This it's wrote a lot better up on blowout forums than it was through the Facebook groups and stuff. So basically, the person that was scammed uh, started an Instagram account, met some dude named... Oh, I'm trying to see how you even pronounce it. Dame Shallow or Sh I don't know how you say this. I I'll show you. Let me just pull it up here because I, I these names trying to read them out and stuff. So here you guys go. This guy right here. I guess it's Dame Shall Off uh, Mez reached out. One side deal benefited him. So basically, the deal was too good to be true, and the dude went with it. I and that's one of the things I stay far, far away from. And when you see what was in this, I literally would have uh, probably gone and done the trade in person or had somebody as a middleman set up that once he receives both packages, understands both sets of cards are in there, then he would mail them out to everybody else, give him a couple bucks for his time and, you know, pay, of course, for the shipping and stuff, too. But that's old school ways that we used to do on these forums back in the day. If there was a bigger deal or you were new, you had to send to a middleman. He had to verify it all across the board. And you might have to do 30, 50 deals like that before you were allowed on your own. But these are the cards here. So if you guys see any of these floating around, I'll put the link to the blowout form in here. You can let the guy know because some big stuff. Right here is the Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, um, Exquisite Dual Auto. Nine number zero number nine out of twenty five. You can see it up here. BGS nine. Even if they crack it out, you'll still know by serial number. There's the Michael Jordan exquisite number. I think it's six out twenty. Oh, sorry, six out of seventy. Six out of seventy. Not graded, but serial numbered still. Go back up. Steph Curry absolute tools of the trade patch number four out of ten. I. I think the serial might be on the back on this one. And then you had the Giannis Draft Day autograph rookie card. Hard to tell because those aren't serial numbered. But at least these two here, if you guys see them floating around anywhere, you know, do the right thing. I mean, honestly, it just hit the blowout forums. I'm like, hey, I just seen this posted somewhere. I know somebody was talking about the cards were posted on some other platform being for sale. So they're, I know they're working on it, but just be on the lookout for that stuff. I know a lot of people watch you, the videos here on this channel. You guys are on Instagram, Twitter, whatever that what thing is now, whatnot or something. You guys see it. Grab the guy's screen name, whatever it may be. This is where he sent it to, Damon Hall. And from my understanding, there's like three or four dudes that are in on this whole big scam thing. I, I can't remember if they're all relatives or friends, and they're, like, bouncing between everybody's addresses and stuff. It, it's really some crazy stuff. But uh, there's been a lot of looking into it and everything, but I wanted to let everybody know about it. And more, you know, don't do big deals like that unless you know the person. Set up a middleman to where both people mail it to the middleman. He verifies it, shows pictures, or does FaceTime Live, and everybody agrees, and he mails them out. That way you have that sense of security. Or tell them, hey, let's meet somewhere, do a trade. I honestly wouldn't have sent this through the mail unless I really knew the person. But the cards he was supposed to get were down here somewhere. There they are. It's a Kaboom Gold. Um, is that LeBron? No, Kobe Gold uh, Kaboom 6 out of 10. And a Timeless Treasures Laundry Tag Kobe 101. I mean, wow. I don't know if they talk about it here or not. Yeah, I'll put the link in here if you guys are interested in reading. I don't know how in-depth they go on to it. But I know somewhere on one of the face group pages they were posting about this. There, there's five pages of people writing on here. But um, where they talk about uh, starting to uncover different pieces onto it. And there's like three or four dudes that are involved into it. So, if you guys ever do really get scammed hardcore or at, at all, I would say even if you got scammed at all, if you have a blowout account and put down all the information and show the pictures and all that stuff, I mean, these dudes will go 
and they're they'll do some investigative work for you. It's really a good group. I know a lot of people are afraid because of troll post and bashing and all that. But as a hobby as a whole, if somebody does you wrong, these dudes will be there to help you out with the best of their knowledge. They will start digging and looking and help you out. So don't knock them because it's blowout forums at all, and you've heard all the rumors from the past. Something like this here where he draws your attention, you show all the proof, pictures, and labels, and all that stuff. The more information you give them, the more they're going to be able to help you out. And I know that it was in two different Facebook groups. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there was offer up. They were on offer up. They found some of this stuff. But yeah, I guess he was trying to scam somebody else. This is a new address that was being used out there, and I don't know if they talk about it or not onto this. Oh, look, yeah, so see, there's more stuff going on with it. So, yeah, there, there's just way more stuff going on with it all. But take a look at it. I mean, it, it's a long process when you read through everybody's comments onto this stuff. And, wow, you just got to really trust who you're doing deals with anymore. And even going to a card show and buying stuff. We all know there's fake slabs, trim cards, and everything out there. But I'm not trying to pull a damper on anything out there by no means. It's just bringing awareness out there on this stuff. And then if we actually come across one of these cards, you know, you can reach out to the person and be like, hey, this dude here has the card. You know, it might be a dealer at one of your shows that somehow acquired it and be like, hey, that's actually been a stolen card. And you can show them and be like, hey, you might want to link up with this dude. You know, maybe snap a picture, set, put it on there, be like, hey, this is now the show right here. And maybe something could be done over it. You never know. Different people have, you know, that work in different ways. I see it to where somebody found that somebody was scammed on a card, and they're like, man, I feel sorry for them. You know, I'm losing money on to it. This is why I had to pay for it. And then they work something out to where, you know, it, it got back to the owner on to it. it did. But all right, everybody. I think I'd show this offhand. Um, link will be in the description if you guys want to read it and everything. But other than that, catch y'all next video.